Hello, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. By the title of this video, you can basically surmise what it's going to be about. It's only been a few days since the reveal of Ben 10 and Justice League action footage, but the hate has reached an incomparable level. I've already seen fans picking up their pitchforks, ready to lay siege to Cartoon Network's castle for shows they're not even creatively in charge of. Guys, you can't just blame Cartoon Network every single time just because you only see those big black and white letters on the show. Maybe it's just me, but it seems that no one else does research on who actually makes these shows. So, let's start with JLA, as that may be the easiest one to get you to understand. The man in charge of the creative content of Justice League Action is a man by the name of Sam Register. If you look him up, you'll find that he is not an employee of Cartoon Network, but instead is the president of Warner Brothers Animation. See, Cartoon Network only acquired the rights to air this show. They're not creatively running it. So, if it tanks, you can blame DC Entertainment or Warner Brothers. It wouldn't be fair to lay the blame at Cartoon Network's feet just because you never looked into who actually makes the show. It'd be like saying Pokemon's anime sucks and blaming Cartoon Network. It wouldn't really make any sense. Ah, but archaic. Ben 10 is a Cartoon Network show, so surely if it sucks, we can blame them. Well, hold on there. Let me explain why that's a bit wrong. I've said this before, but Men of Action were in charge of the Ben 10 series ever. On the original, they were consultants at best. Now things are different. They're the ones people have to run ideas past, and they can choose to go with it or not. Wait, how do you know that? Well, like I said, I like to do my research on shows. Uh, according to an interview with Men of Action in 2015, they said that it's just nice that the creative process starts with us. It's something that we've often written on and consulted on, but we've never been the people leading the charge, even though we made the character up. It's nice that we get to be those guys now. Casey then said, There's a lot that we're doing that's unique to this iteration of the show. We can't get into too much detail on what's different, but it is going to have a new feel. It's a special iteration of Ben 10. Followed by Siegel stating, It's everything you love about Ben 10 with new stuff that you wouldn't expect. But fans don't seem excited. I get not wanting a reboot, but fans have wanted Man of Action fully in charge, and you'd think the fans of Ben 10 would rally behind that team, finally creating the series that they want to create. But no. Somehow the guys who worked on the Ben 10 concept for three years are going to turn Ben 10 into something it's not. If this show fails, it will not be because of the creative input of Cartoon Network. They left the series firmly in the hands of its creators, but people still want to justify blaming Cartoon Network. Why? Because they've resulted in some other shows they did have a hand in being bad? It doesn't feel rational to me. If you want to hate Cartoon Network, go ahead and hate them, but at least do them the courtesy of directing that hate towards things they've creatively been in charge of, like the Powerpuff Girls reboot or We Bear Bears. Not shows like Justice League Action, which is a DC production, or the Ben 10 reboot, which is in control by Man of Action. Now, if you'd like to get mad at me for making this video, you can. I needed to make my thoughts on this public because I'm sick of the negativity that I feel is unwarranted. Many fans seem to have a grudge against Cartoon Network, even believing in conspiracy theories like, oh, Man of Action is only saying these nice things because they'll get sued by Cartoon Network if they don't. That they're blinded by it. Give these new shows a chance. Watch one episode. If you don't like them, then you don't like them. You didn't pay any money. You just wasted like 11 minutes, 22 minutes at most for certain shows. But at least blame the right people. And not just the biggest scapegoat you can find. Thanks for watching. And take care. Do you want to check it out? You haven't really seen it yet. I think I need a nap.